Hey there, my name is Soundrack, and welcome to my coverage of the Wolfgang character refresh update for Don't Starve Together. At long last, we have more insight into Wolfgang's backstory, and now know that he was in fact the strong man of a circus, but his greatest feats of strength relied upon stage performance trickery. But then a chance encounter with William Carter gave him a taste of the power he might have in the constant, and we can only assume that he later sought out, or was sought out by, the great Maxwell, and was later pulled into the world of Don't Starve. In-game, Wolfgang has long been a favorite of pro streamers and speed record chasers, and was regularly featured rushing the ruins and downing bosses in record time. His old combination of speed, damage output, and high health made him a powerhouse for this playstyle. Unfortunately, in the hands of less experienced players, and especially in multiplayer settings, he was mostly known for always eating all the meatballs in the icebox in order to stay mighty as much as possible. Hence the common adage that a bad Wolfgang player was worse for a team than a good Wes. But with this new update, I expect that Wolfgang will be much more user-friendly to newer players, and with his new might mechanics and other perks, he'll be much more welcome in multiplayer settings, so go ahead and take that padlock off of the icebox. So let's compare and contrast what's going out with the old and in with the new. Old Wolfgang's forms are no longer controlled by how much food is in his belly, and his belly has shrunk from a max of 300 food points down to 200, and likewise his health is now a fixed 200 max HP, rather than expanding up to 300 with his old might mechanics. And instead of getting mighty by eating, he now has a might meter that is increased by two forms of exercise, and might decreases over time, slower if his belly is full and faster as it gets empty. His rate of food digestion is now a flat rate regardless of his might level, so although he will want to stay full to maintain his physique, he won't need to eat nearly as much food as he used to. Much to the dismay of hardcore Wolfgang mains, the strongman no longer has a speed perk when mighty, but he also doesn't move any slower when wimpy. Instead, mighty form Wolfgang can now wear the marble suit armor and the piggyback with no movement penalties, can carry heavy objects like statues and giant crops faster than anyone, and mighty Wolfgang can also row faster. Yay on that last one? Mighty Wolfgang can also harvest resources like trees and boulders in fewer hits, and has a very low chance to crit and complete the harvesting in one hit. He will, however, use up as much tool durability as other characters, but what's really nice about these new perks is that Wolfgang now benefits from being mighty outside of combat, and will have some added utility for both solo play and with friends. Speaking of friends, Wolfgang has always been scared of the dark and monsters, and now has even more sanity drain if he is alone in the dark or there are lots of scary monsters in the area. However, this is decreased when there are either other players or befriended creatures nearby. A big change regarding his damage output, the old Wolfgang's DPS peaked at double damage when at 300 food points in his belly, but linearly decreased down to 125% at the bottom end of the mighty form. Now, however, he will always do double damage when in mighty form, whether he's at the top of the might meter or at the bottom part of the mighty portion. And given that it will take more than three quarters of a day to fall out of mighty form if you start out with a full belly and don't eat anything, that means it will be much easier to maintain constant double damage in boss fights than it was before, making this change to his damage very nice. There are a few other minor changes. Mighty Wolfgang is less susceptible to freezing and overheating, having an innate insulative value that is equal to a tier 1 clothing item, while Wimpy Wolfgang is more susceptible to extreme temperatures, having the same value subtracted from any clothing he might be wearing. Wimpy Wolfgang also takes 20% increased combat damage, and deals 25% less damage when attacking. But let's get into the details of that might meter. As I mentioned earlier, Wolfgang now has two forms of exercise that will fill up the meter, and he'll be wimpy when the meter is at 25 or less, normal between 26 and 75, and mighty when above 75 on the meter. The first exercise method is a portable option that does not cost any hunger, lifting dumbbells. There are currently three options available, the regular dumbbell crafted with four rocks and one twig, the Golden Dumbbell, which takes two gold, two cut stone, and two twigs, and is prototyped at a science machine, 
and the gem bell, made from one purple gem, two cut stone, and two twigs, and is prototyped at a prestihatitator or shadow manipulator. There are currently three different efficiency rates that each dumbbell can have with respect to the different stages of the mightiness meter. I won't bore you with specific numbers, but in general, each of these dumbbells is most effective at getting wolf gain through a given form range. The regular dumbbell is great from going from 0 mightiness to 25 and decent for getting you through the regular form, while the gold dumbbell is great at both wimpy and regular form ranges of mightiness. But they're both terrible at topping off the mightiness meter, so word of advice, don't use either of these dumbbells for topping off your mightiness meter when away from home. The gem bell, on the other hand, is fantastic at moving Wolfgang through all of the forms and is the only dumbbell that is efficient for topping off the meter when on the go. Each of these dumbbells can be used as a melee weapon when wimpy or normal and can be thrown when mighty, but it's not a good idea. Though using the dumbbells as weapons increases mightiness, it significantly depletes the durability of the dumbbells compared to using them to exercise normally. Though I suppose the regular dumbbell can be used as an alternative to the boomerang for killing birds or rabbits. And speaking of durability, the regular dumbbell has half the durability of its peers. All the more reason to replace it with gold and then the gem bell as soon as possible. The other form of exercise is the craftable gym station structure that can be prototyped at a science machine and is made with four boards, two cut stone, and three rope. This workout apparatus can be loaded with a variety of heavy objects. The heavier the object, the more effective the workout. The lightest weights include the potato sacks it comes pre-stocked with, and the best are giant crops or boss statues crafted at the potter's wheel. You'll know if a given weight is heavy or light based on how the colored sections in the indicator area of the gym change. If the colored area gets wider or starts to add a lighter colored section in the middle, the weight has gone up. To give you an idea of how much of a difference the weight makes, using potato sacks it would take over a minute to go from 0 might up to 100, but will only cost you about 46 hunger. By contrast, using boss statues, you'll go from 0 to 100 in under 20 seconds, costing about 80 hunger. As for the gym minigame, it's really pretty simple. Just click when the indicator is right in the middle in order to maximize the effectiveness of each lift. Regardless of what weight you use, you'll want to make sure you have food on hand for a quick post-workout snack to fill your belly as soon as you get off the gym in order to keep your gains as long as possible. All things considered though, the overall hunger cost of maintaining Wolfgang's mighty form, even using the gym, is far less than what it was before the update. Along with the Wolfgang refresh, Clay also released a bundle of Wolfgang skins that can be woven or purchased from the shop giving Wolfgang players a variety of looks to choose from. And although I know some die-hard Wolfgang fans are really salty about the removal of the Mighty Speed perk, on the whole I think this update is great! It makes Wolfgang a more versatile and well-rounded character, and will result in many more players exploring the constant as the strongman. And I have no doubt that soon enough he will be showcased once again rushing the ruins and downing raid bosses in record time. Thanks for watching, let me know down in the comments what you think of the update, and until next time, get out there and don't starve!